to a bright space as well Today's training, I'm going to walk you through how to integrate your Hawk sections into D2L Brightspace. We are pleased to offer a synchronization tool, which allows you to link your class roster and grades between Hawks and D2L Brightspace, as well as create direct Hawks assignment links within the LMS. We also offer a single sign-on tool, which allows students to access their Hawks accounts directly from within your D2L Brightspace course. If you are new to using Hawks, Please reach out to your training and support specialist if you'd like to integrate Hawks within your LMS. Your LMS administrator will need to make our links available to you within D2L Brightspace. Now to get started, you'll log into your D2L or Brightspace account and you'll navigate to your course. You'll then select content from the menu at the top and you'll then add a module. I recommend calling this Hawks Learning. You'll then hit enter to create that module and within that module, you'll click on existing activities. We'll then select external learning tools, and we're going to locate the two tools we are looking for, the Hawk Sync tool and the Hawk Single Sign-On or SSO tool. So we'll scroll through here. We'll grab that Sync tool first. We'll then repeat those steps to select the SSO tool. So we'll scroll through, select that tool, and that will be added as well. Now we will want to hide the sync tool from users. This is just for you as an instructor managing the course rather than your students needing access to it. Now that single sign-on link will allow students to directly access Hawks through D2L or Brightspace. When they click on this, they'll be brought directly to their Hawks dashboard. If they're brand new to Hawks, it will automatically create their account, provide temporary access if applicable, and enroll them into your section. So they can simply click here to access their dashboard, or as I'll show you in a few moments, they'll be able to click directly on assignment links to access those Hawks assignments without any further steps. So we're now going to click right on the sync tool to link our course between Hawks and D2L Brightspace. Now to access the sync tool, you'll first need to provide your teach login information. If you have not yet set up your teach account, please reach out to your training and support specialist for assistance with that. All right, so we'll go ahead and sign in. Next, you're going to select the Hawks section that corresponds with the D2L or Brightspace section you're working with. If you do need to select a different course or a different instructor, if you are a course admin, you can use these drop down menus above. Note that there is a checkbox below your sections list where you can choose to enable the students tab. You do not need to select this option if you have enabled the single sign on tool for students as they will be linking themselves. The students tab is most often used for troubleshooting later in the semester and can be enabled at a later time through the setup button in the top right corner of the sync tool as you'll see in a moment. For now, we'll just click continue to move along. Here in the top right, you'll see there's that setup button I mentioned. Again, you should not need to go back and enable the, uh, the students tool unless you do need to do some troubleshooting later in the semester. So here you'll see there are four tabs within the sync tool. The two tabs that you're going to focus your time on when setting up your course are the assignments tab and the schedule sync tab. I'll talk a little bit more about each of these tabs though as we go through. Now the assignments tab is the most important. This is where you are going to be linking your assignments with between Hawks and D2L or Brightspace. So this will both create those columns for you for the grades, but it will also create those direct links I mentioned. Now, we you'll see here that we have these dark green rows as well as these light green rows. The dark green rows correspond with your Hawks assignment groups. The light green rows are the individual assignments. I recommend selecting all of those individual assignments and unselecting those assignment groups so that way you can organize those assignments within D2L or Brightspace and have it calculate your total grades there. Otherwise, if you have both selected, you may have a little duplication with grades. So you'll want to select either the individual assignments if you want to create those links and have those individual columns, or if you want just those averages for the groups, you can select just the dark green. If you notice that you're not able to see all of your assignments here, make sure you check that results is set to show all. Now I'm going to scroll through and I'm going to just unselect those 
assignment groups here and we'll go ahead and sync. Note that the default setting in that column on the right is to create an LMS column. If you are a returning instructor and you are copying a course that you previously set up, it may automatically link your assignments for you. All right, so now we'll just confirm and this will now link those assignments. So again, it's creating those direct assignment links as well as creating those columns. Now the next step would be to go to the schedule sync tab and this is where you're going to enable auto sync. So if you select this first checkbox here, sync grades to LMS daily, automatically overnight each night, any new grades from your students will move from Hawks into D2L Brightspace. So you don't have to worry about syncing your students' grades. Automatically, they will come over each night as your students continue to complete work. Now, once you've done this, this is just one time for the start of the semester. Now these other two tabs here, assignment grades is where you can manually sync your grades. So once your students have logged into Hawks for the first time through D2L or Brightspace, they'll be listed here. You can then select the assignments and the students that you want to manually sync and you can do it that way. You shouldn't have to do that very often. That should really just be a troubleshooting um, option since that schedule sync will be moving those grades over every night automatically. The final grades tab is where the calculated final grade from Hawks can be synced over to D2L or Brightspace. Um, however, you likely will not need to do this since you will have all of those individual assignments coming over or the averages coming over and calculating within Brightspace already. All right, so in conclusion, the assignments tab is where you are focusing the majority of your setup time. This is where you are linking your assignments to create those columns for the grades and creating those direct links for your students. And we also have the schedule sync tab where you are enabling that auto sync feature. You shouldn't have to come back to the sync tool throughout the semester unless you do assign additional Hawks assignments within the gradebook. In that case, you will need to come back to the sync tool and sync those specific assignments to create those links and those columns for the grades. All right, so we'll now go back to our course. We'll go back to our table of contents. And we'll just take a look at where those links have been created. So we'll see now here we have the sync tool as well as the Hawks SSO, and then we'll have all of those individual lesson links added here as well. So here you'll see um, students can just click right on this link and it will bring them to the landing page for that particular assignment. So if they click on the single sign on or that SSO link, it brings them to their Hawks dashboard. If they click on an individual assignment link, it brings them to the landing page. All right. Now from here, you'll see within your grading area, you'll be able to see those columns as well. But otherwise, that is all there is to setting up your course to link between Hawks and D2L or Brightspace. Now, if you have any additional questions or would like a more in-depth training of All right, well, we hope that that was helpful information for you as you are preparing for the start of the semester. Um, we have reserved a little bit of time for questions now that we are at the end. Um, so we'll get started here. It looks like we already have a few here, but go ahead and send any questions you may have to the Q&A um, down at the bottom of the Zoom window. So one of the questions I have here is we have to set the dates for assignments first in the lesson section before we do the syncing, correct? That is correct. So you will want to make sure that you have fully set up any dates for lessons or web tests or any other type of assignment in Hawks first. Otherwise, the assignments will not appear in that assignments tab of the sync tool. So you will want to make sure that everything's set up in Hawks first and then everything will go most smoothly in the sync tool. Now, um, you can continuously throughout the semester continue to assign additional assignments or add additional dates into your Hawks gradebook. You'll just need to remember that you will need to go into the sync tool, go to that assignments tab and link those individual assignments if you want to make sure that those are transitioning over and those grades are able to be synced. 
All right, and I do have a couple other questions here that I do want to address. Um, and one is if there is a specific browser that students should use when accessing Hawks through D2L or Brightspace. Um, now the answer to that is yes, the best experience is going to be through either Google Chrome or Firefox. Um, the same goes for you as an instructor when using the sync tool. Sometimes Safari or Internet Explorer have um, some different security settings that are default that can interfere with these tools. So my recommendation for both you and your students would be to use Chrome or Firefox for the best experience. And I have one more question over here, and that is, can I copy my previous D2L Brightspace course and use the same direct assignment links? The answer to that is yes, you can. So I mentioned briefly um, in the training that when you are under the assignments tab that it may link up automatically. So the default setting is that it's going to create a column for any existing assignments. But if you have copied your course shell within the LMS, you should be able to select the appropriate matching link from your old course from the drop down menus and that way you can create that one for one match so you don't have to completely recreate the columns or in your grading area or those actual direct assignment links you can just connect to the new one to the old one um, to avoid any additional setup there any other questions before we wrap up All right, well, I'm not seeing any other come through, but I do want to thank you again for your time today. If you do come up with any other questions or anything comes up as you are um, actually going through these setup steps, feel free to reach out directly to your training and support representative, or you can use our main phone number or live chat option for assistance as well. But again, thank you for your time. And I will be sending out, um, I won't be personally, but our marketing team will be sending out the links to all of these recorded trainings. So you'll be able to watch them again at any time later. All right, thank you all again and you have a great day.